The next nickname for an anomaly is Factory Makeup. Factory Makeup. Oh, that's an old-fashioned can of makeup, isn't it? Yep. All right. Item SCP-1317. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. All known instances of 1317 are to be housed in Vault 13 of Site 77 Safe Cu Safe SCP Wing. Each unit is to be inspected on a rational rotational basis to prevent any chemical corrosion of their containers. A small subset of the 1317 substance is to be set aside for allocated testing purposes. Following a containment breach of multiple 1317 instances initiated by 703, all testing instances are to remain outside of 703's area of effect. In the effect of discovery of any additional instances of 1317, they are to be cataloged and their point of origin sought out. Okay, so before we continue, what is 703? <laughs> Okay, so it looks like it's a it's a wooden closet. But what does it do? And everyone's been tuned for 14 months. Right, active state during active state, the bulb then is oh, three. I want it is a set of three will appear. I just want to this thing is a collection of 40, 452 random objects are treated for 703 following the completion of an active state. This does appear to have some relation to their environment and persons exposed to it. Okay, so it just materialize random objects. Oh. Including other SCPs such as 643, 649, and 1317. So, oh. So this anomaly brings other anomaly. Well, I guess it fits the song that they bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, it's a bad joke. I had to do it. Alright, now let's see. How bad is this anomaly going to get? Even though it's a safe class. Alright. Description. SCP-1317 is a collection of vintage cosmetics manufactured sometime in 1942. Individual tens of 1317 weight approximately 0 0.5 kilograms. The individual containers of the of 1317 are brown within the makeup itself, being a shade of beige. The words the factory have been embossed oh. on the bottom of each instance of 1317. Okay, so it's gonna get bad. Oh. Yeah, it has a factory. It could be Basically anything. Yeah. When 1317 comes into contact with living animal tissue, it will begin to integrate itself into the tissue. Continuous uh. application of 1317 will lead to the affected tissues being completely replaced by 1317. In addition, 1317 will, will replicate the biological function of all tissues it replaces. Any existing imperfections or blemishes on the skin will be removed. Adding dyes can change the skin tone, and it is possible to mold and adjust the 1317 in a manner similar to clay without causing harm. So, this someone can use this to do blackface easily. I'm sorry. Oops. I feel like that wouldn't be quite the same, because it would be like changing your face to actually being black. It's makeup you can't remove. Yeah. Ever. So you'll always be seen as a racist. And so But let's not. <laughs> Anyways. If the user does not continue to apply 1317, the effective tissue will lose its cohesion over the next five weeks, which leads to the user experiencing potential fatal trauma. 1317 was discovered in 1943 when an unusual high number of persons with critical skin conditions were reported from several U.S. cities. 
interviews with victims reveal that they have obtained 1317 via an advertisement in local newspapers to market test new makeup products. Following the address provided by the advertiser, led to a warehouse containing over redacted instances of 1317. However, shortly after this warehouse was discovered, instances of 1317 began appearing in pharmacies and newspaper advertisements in the United States, Canada, Britain, Italy, Russia, France, and Germany, including territories occupied and controlled by Germany. Between 1943 and 1946, an estimated redacted additional instances of 1317 were recovered from these regions. Addendum 1317-A. As of May 1946, 1317 ceased appearing in these areas. It is still unknown where these additional instances of 1317 were produced or how they were transported and stocked at these locations. The we know where it was produced. Because it's labeled right here. Well, just because it's labeled a certain way doesn't mean it's there. All right, and then in 1317B, one week progression of 1317, the user will report irritation in areas that are affected by 1317, similar to a mild rash, subjects will, may also report increased amounts of skin flaking. Two weeks of 1317 progression, the user began to develop more severe rashes in the afflicted areas, these rashes are usually dark green or light purple. In addition, any of the user's hair located in these affected areas will begin to fall out. Three weeks of progression of 1317, the user will report serious discomfort in the affected areas. The rash will become discolored and afflicted areas will cause the user large amounts of pain. Users at this stage will become highly reclusive due to their appearance but only a small percentage will seek medical care. Four weeks of progression of symptoms from 1317. Users at this stage will begin to experience extreme fatigue. In addition, users at this stage will, will begin to have large amounts of tissue disintegrate. 98% 98, 98 of users who reach four weeks of exposure will have lost all body hair in the affected area. After five weeks of progression of 1317, after five weeks have passed, the user's afflicted flesh shall begin to lose cohesion. <laughs> the first tissue to dissolve will usually be soft tissue such as the user's eyes, cheeks, or loose areas of skin, and damage to the dental cavity resulting in the, dis dis the dissolution of the gums and tooth loss. Following this, deeper tissue such as muscle, Ligaments will begin dissolving and in case where the user had used 1317 for more than six months. The discussion of organs such as the intestine, liver, and bladder will result along with the potential liquefaction of, of the visual or olfactory courses. That's it. That's that's really dark. Yep. All right, let me pull it up for you, Jay. First, I just want to say that would be a very terrifying way to. At least let death be quick. That's not quick. That's not remotely quick. Yeah. A death where your body slowly falls apart. Yeah, that sounds nice. Yep. The nails in the in chat. You say four. Do you think it's not clickbait? Because 
literally putting a finger I mean, you could do that under 1317, but... God damn it! OBS. OBS is connected oh. for one second. Yeah, piece of shit. Also, yeah. people don't have zits like that on their face. Around their lips. Yeah. Also, uh, I am getting a new uh, computer piece that may be fixing this internet issue with OBS. Hopefully, it will be arriving tomorrow. That sounds very nice. Yeah. Hopefully, it will work. That's the problem with this computer. Because we already know it, it was... It, it was on its deathbed a couple days ago. <laughs> and it somehow fixed itself. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know how it did it, but it, it did. <laughs> Computers are mysterious devices. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Written by Anonymous. Let's see if there actually is someone. Oh, no, it just says anonymous. Uh oh, picture. They didn't do PFQ, did they? Uh, nope, but we'll see. <sighs> we ready? Yeah. You are so beautiful. Oh, shit. God damn it, I did it again. I need to stop doing it. I had a thumbnail still on the screen. Oh. You are so beautiful. Oh, go on now. Excuse Why? me a second, won't you? <laughs> I just need to go reapply my makeup. Won't be a second. The woman rushed off towards the bathroom. A look of bewilderment on the man's face. He looked at her plate. It sure didn't look like makeup. Rather, like a piece of flesh. Why did they Oh god, oh god, what is this? She rubbed her cheek. The rash underneath her makeup had taken on a sickly shade of green and purple. Just an allergic reaction. No need to panic. Suck it up. You don't want to lose this guy because of a little rash. She opened her concealer. But it was empty. Oh no. This will have to do. Huh? Come on, come on, work, damn it. Sorry, my makeup was just a little runny. Where were we? Hi. Hi. You know, I've been <laughs> thinking. Stop right there. Yeah, and what? push should Why? be close to You've death at that thinking. point. Very little good ever comes from that. Yeah. Fine. I just like how they treat Jen. Okay, yeah. so, like I was saying, oh jeez. This Cyrus character, he should be a priority, you know? He is, but for the moment, we've hit a brick wall. Gone cold, like the fish monster. The what? That thing from the airplane? The same thing that was fishing for humans? Oh, that guy. Um, I have an idea about him, but that's for another day. We're here. All right. Evening, fellas. You the guys the chief told me to liaise with? What? Uh, haven't, haven't we met before? I don't think so. Never forget a face. You aren't a sheriff in upstate New York? Oh, I see where you're coming from. That's my brother, Ralph. You two have a striking resemblance. Do we? I don't know. Always thought he was a little ugly myself. Right. Wow. Anyway, oh. they're over there. Corpse Bride and Don Juan. Whoa! Hey, a little sensitivity? 
Didn't mean it as a rude thing. I loved Night of the Living Dead. Right, uh, okay. Thanks, officer. We'll just go have a talk with him now. Sure thing. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be over there doing something or other, whatever. Oh no. Well, he has to get actual cat. Foss, and this is Agent Chen. Uh, we specialize in situations like yours. Could you explain what happened tonight? I I don't know. My skin just started to peel off. It came out of nowhere. No previous history of skin conditions, allergies. No, nothing like this. Have you been exposed to anything that might have caused a skin reaction? No, wait, actually, I've been using this new concealer for a few weeks. No, it can't be that. It's a good brand. It actually ran out a week or two ago, though, so it shouldn't be that. Chen, can you bag that for examination? Uh, would you both come back with us? We'll need to run some tests. Of course, we always support law enforcement 100%. My Ow. man, speaking my language. Cryptkey, would you take this gentleman to a holding cell and make him comfortable? You got it, Chief. Ma'am, please come with us. We'll have a closer look at that skin condition. The woman sat at the table, a look of unease upon her face. All right. So we've run some tests on your skin samples and the makeup items in your purse. The good news is it appears to be restricted sections of your face where you use the product. The bad news, it will require skin grafts to fix. Skin grafts? It won't heal? The damage is restricted, but acute. You'll be fine. It's just a good thing that you didn't have any more of this product. Just follow the doctor. He'll give you a little shot for the pain and then take you to the hospital. Okay, thank you. What about my date? We'll have a chat with him, and then send him home as well. After, he gets a little shot too. Thank you. You're welcome. What did you find? This makeup mm. is anomalous. Not sure what it is, but I'm sure it isn't from Kylie Cosmetics. So, it peels your face off? It actually incorporates itself into the skin and mimics it. So it's like plastic surgery in a can. Sort of. Seems it can heal any skin. The catch is only if you continuously use it. Oh, that's tricky. Like your hair growth tonic. I don't use hair growth tonic. Sure you do. I saw it. That was one time and it was because of the hair worms. Whatever floats your boat, Doc. Ah, uh, what's this you bring for me? Gifts? How oh, sweet. You know, one of these days, you're gonna have to explain to me how you see through that toilet paper. It's not toilet paper. Besides the point, blind lady. Pythia, if you wouldn't mind, this cream regenerates skin, but once the user stops applying it, the skin decomposes and flakes off. Sounds like a typical skincare product these days, but let's have a look. They were in a department store, what? but something wasn't adding up. The displays and styles weren't current. This looks like, geez, if I had to hazard a guess, the 40s? Pythia, are you sure about this? I'm getting the feeling someone's done the old switcheroo on us. The cream seems to be old, but the container, no. So someone's taken the cream out, put it in a new container, and given it to that woman. But why? And who invented this and for what reason? Let's go have a word with that boyfriend. You don't think he bought it for her, do you? With what we've seen before, that wouldn't shock me in the least. Hey, Kripke, where's the guy? Had him anesthetized and sent him home. What? Why? I did not authorize that. Order came down from the professor. I guess he figured there was no reason to hold him. Why would he do that without talking to me first? I haven't even had a chance to talk to him yet. Don't know what to say. Just following orders. I'll speak to Lucius. Oh, I think he went out. We'll be back for a few hours. <sighs> okay, thanks. Kloss looked intently at his coffee. So, what's bothering you? Did Cryptkey seem a little 
off to you? He seemed off for a while now. That guy is carrying some dark secrets, I tell you. He's not the only one. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Uh, why would the professor release the boyfriend? Now there's another guy with some dark secrets. It seems everyone here has some skeletons in the closet. You included. While we're on that topic, have any of your memories come back to you? Nah, it's still a blank. The first thing I remember is you and those agents saving me. That was some night. I thought you were dead. So did I. Thanks, dog. What? It turned out for the best. You were a natural-born agent. Odd, though, isn't it? What is? The way the training fell into place, it was like my body and muscles knew it all. But my memory had erased it, like I had done the training before. Oh, you're just a natural. If you say so, Doc. Kripke came walking into the cafeteria. He looked around, confused and in a daze. Kripke! Hey, Kripke! Come over here! Where's your uniform? Agent Chen, Dr. Klaus. You all right? You look a bit out of it. I... I'm not sure. I think I fell asleep. What? When? We just spoke to you like 30 minutes ago. You did? About what? The boyfriend. What boyfriend? Hmm... Where did Lucius go? The prof? No idea. He's not in his office. All right. What the heck's going on? Kripke comes with us. Let's check the CCTV. Kripke was explaining something to the woman's boyfriend. As he went to the cabinet in the back of the room, the man grabbed him from behind. He pulled a syringe from Kripke's jacket, stabbing him swiftly with it. Kripke oh! slowly sank to the ground, Why? unconscious. The man took his uniform off and swapped it with his own clothes. Inside a pocket, he withdrew what appeared to be a card holder. In a hidden compartment was a substance very much like the makeup cream the woman had. He applied it all over his face then began to massage and pull at his skin. The man turned around, but he was no longer the same person. Uh, like he the was he the spitting image of Kripke Yeah. I'm sorry, this is gonna get a four out of four for racism, but you can't just race swap. If, if you only use it on the face, it only affects the face, but it swaps his neck too. They didn't use any colorant, it just whoop. Yeah. Sorry. He walked out the door and straight into Kloss and Chen. That wasn't Kripke at all, but the boyfriend! He set this whole thing up to get in here, but for what? Fast forward and see where he goes. The man stopped at a door labeled Archives. He punched in a code. Why? The door opened. Wait a minute. How'd he do that? How'd he get the access code? Moments later, he reappeared, tucking an envelope into his uniform. The CCTV focused on the bike in the underground parking facility of the Foundation. The man hopped onto a motorcycle. Thank you, gentlemen, for your hospitality. Until we meet again. And sped off. SCP-1317 Object class, safe. 1317 is a collection of vintage cosmetics manufactured sometime in 1942. Individual tins of 1317 weigh approximately half a kilo. The individual containers of 1317 are brown, with the makeup itself being a shade of beige. The words, the factory, have been embossed onto the bottom of each instance of 1317. When 1317 comes into contact with living animal tissue, it will begin to integrate itself into the tissue. Continuous application will lead to the affected tissues being completely replaced by 1317. In addition, 1317 will replicate the biological function of all tissues it replaces. Any existing imperfections or blemishes on the skin will be removed. Adding dyes can change the skin tone, and it is possible to mold and adjust 1317 in a manner similar to clay without causing harm. If the user does not continue to apply 1317, the affected tissue will lose its cohesion over the next five weeks, which leads to the user experiencing potentially fatal trauma. 1317 was discovered in 1943, 
when an unusually high number of persons with critical skin conditions were reported from several U.S. cities. Interviews with victims revealed that they had obtained 1317 via an advertisement in local newspapers to market test new makeup products. Following the address provided by the advertiser led to a warehouse containing over instances of 1317. However, shortly after this warehouse was discovered, instances of 1317 began appearing in pharmacies and newspaper advertisements in the United States, Canada, Britain, Italy, Russia, France, and Germany between 1943 and 1946. All known instances of 1317 are to be housed in Vault 13 of Site 77's safe SCP wing. Each unit is to be inspected on a rotational basis to prevent any chemical corrosion of their containers. A small subset of the 1317 substance is to be set aside for allocated testing purposes. In the event of the discovery of any additional instances of 1317, They are to be cataloged and their point of origin sought out. Pride, one of the seven deadly sins. Don't let the obsession with appearance dominate you. Your worth is more than skin deep. Just a quick reminder to come check out my Patreon, and you'll find Now. weekly uploads of bloopers, outtakes, and storyboards. Well, As always, have a care, over. and remember to subscribe. You want to read the next anomaly before we we start this? But let's read it. Yeah. Alright, removal of character slash license. Removal of character. Hmm? Oh. What were you saying? I, I, I was just reading the title of the category. I think we should put a four. Before when I dismissed the, the them not getting the origin, even though it was on the label, I was trying to be nice. But for watching the video, just pick more and more. Yeah. Added gore or violence? Gore. Yeah. Because the fact is, before it had no violence. Then they literally added an aggressive amount of. not compared to how it started. Yeah. Before it had no violence, but if you stopped using the makeup, shit would fall off. Yeah. But now it had like attacking an SCP officer, putting chemicals in him, and fucking driving off with their clothes. Yeah. Also, deviates from the plot of the article. Article. Or. Yeah. Well, maybe the violence is a three. They didn't kill anyone, but like. Yeah. If, uh, only men in a video slash offensiveness. Four, four, they race swapped. They race swapped. They know how fucking 